Hello and welcome to the session. Let's work out the following question. It says, does there exist a function which is continuous everywhere but not differentiable at exactly two points? Justify your answer. So let's now move on to the solution. And consider the function fx given by mod x plus mod of x minus 1. And this can be again written as minus x plus minus of x minus 1 if x is less than 0 and it is x plus minus of x minus 1 if x lies between 0 and 1. And x plus x minus 1 if x is greater than 1. This is by the definition of mod x which says it is minus x if x is less than 0. And it is x if x is greater than 0. Similarly mod of x minus 1 will be minus of x minus 1 if x is less than 1 and it is x minus 1 if x is greater than 1 so combining these two functions we get this for this x is less than 0 but x is also less than 1 so this function is minus of x minus 1 here also x is less than 1. So this function is minus of x minus 1. But in this case both x is greater than 1 and of course x is greater than 0. So the function is therefore fx is equal to minus x minus x is minus 2x plus 1. So the function is 1 minus 2x if x is less than 0 and it is plus x minus x is 0 plus 1 that is 1 if x lies between 0 and 1 and it is x plus x is 2x minus 1 if x is greater than 1. Now we will show that this function is Continuous everywhere. Now we know that mod x is continuous everywhere. And mod of x minus 1 is continuous everywhere. Because we know that the mod function is continuous. Therefore, their sum is continuous everywhere. And this implies fx is continuous everywhere. differentiable at x is equal to 0. So we will check the differentiability at x is equal to 0. So we will prove that the left hand limit 
is not equal to the right hand limit as h approaches to 0. So, h approaching to 0 from the left hand side of f of 0 plus h minus f of 0 upon h. Now, since h is approaching from the left hand side, so f of 0 plus h, that is fh, will be this, that is limit h approaching from the le left hand side, that is h approaching to 0 minus f of h, that is 1 minus 2h minus f of 0, f of 0 would be 1 minus 2 into 0, that is 1 upon h and this would be equal to limit h approaching to 0 minus 1 minus 1 is 0 and this becomes minus 2h upon h, h h gets cancelled and the limit would be minus 2. Now we will check the right hand limit f of 0 plus h minus f of 0 upon h. Now since h approaching from the left hand side, from the right hand side, the function will be this. So this would be limit h approaching to 0 plus 1 minus f of 0, f of 0 would be 1 only, 1 minus 1 upon h. So this would be limit h approaching to 0 plus of 0 that is 0. So limit h approaching to 0 minus of f of 0 plus h minus f of 0 upon h is not equal to limit h approaching to 0 plus f of 0 plus h minus f of 0 upon h. So this implies function is not differentiable at zero. Now we will check the differentiability at x is equal to 1. So again we will check the left hand limit and the right hand limit f of 1 plus h minus f of 1 upon h. Now, since h is approaching from the left hand side, when x is less than 1, so the function will be this, 1 Approaching to 0 minus 1 minus f of 1 will be 1 only. That is this. So it is 1 minus 1 upon h. So the limit would be 0. Now we find the right hand limit f of 1 plus h minus f of 1 upon h. Now since h is approaching from the right hand side when x is equal to 1. So the function will be this that is 2x minus 1. So limit would be h approaching from the right hand side f of 1 plus h. And the function is 2x minus 1, so it would be 2 into 1 plus h minus 1 minus 
f of 1 that is 2 into 1 minus 1 upon h. So this would be limit h approaching to 0 plus of 2 plus 2h minus 1 minus 2 minus 1 is 1 upon h. So limit h approaching to 0 plus of 2h upon h and the limit would be 2. So the left hand limit of f of 1 plus h minus f of 1 upon h is not equal to limit h approaching from the right hand side of f of 1 plus h minus f of 1 upon h. So this implies fx is not differentiable at x is equal to 1. Hence the function is continuous everywhere but it is not differentiable at x is equal to 0 and at x is equal to 1. Bye for now. Take care. Have a good day.